Hey guys, what's up? Sam here back with another video. Now, I know it's been a while since I've been on the road to finding the perfect ROM. So in today's video, I'm going to be looking at the Dirty Unicorns ROM, alright? Now I've heard a lot of good things about this ROM, such as the battery life and all its customizations. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so normally I do a separate video on how to install your ROM, but by now it's pretty standard. Just make sure you're rooted and running a custom recovery. Now once you're booted in your custom recovery, make sure to go ahead, wipe everything excluding the internal memory. Alright, after you've done that, go ahead and flash the ROM as well as the GX. I'll put links for everything in the description down below. Alright, now one thing to note, this ROM is not rooted, so if you want to reroute your phone, you need to go ahead and do that afterwards. Alright? Wow guys, that boot animation is bad up. I am loving this straight away. Alright, so it's up. Let us just change this real quick to the US. Let's go. Alright guys, I'm just going to set this thing up and come right back, alright? Alright guys, so this is the Dirty Unicorns ROM, alright? So first thing off the bat, you notice that you do have the Pixel Launcher on here that comes built in. The folder icon right here, that's found on the Pixel, as well as a swipe up to get to the app drawer, alright? I do like the little Dirty Unicorn wallpaper they have here, it's pretty cool, pretty badass. Second thing to know is that when you swipe left, there is no Google Now. And for me, I have to have my Google Now, so if it's not built in, I have to find some way to do that. If I do, I'll put links for that in the description down below, alright? Now moving up, as you can see right here, I have my custom carrier label, which is pretty much standard for any custom ROM. As well as right here, I have my clock in the center, and my battery icon right here is a little circle with the percentage in the middle. So if I swipe from the right here, it brings down everything, including the quick setting styles. However, if I just do a regular one from the middle, it just shows notifications, all right? That's pretty much how I like to have it for easier convenience. Now, as you can see right here, I do have the headers and they are dynamic. And what that means is that depending on the time of day, it does change. So if it's cloudy, you're gonna see clouds. If it's the sunset, during the evening time, you're gonna see that. If it's the morning, then you see that as well, all right? Now, one really cool thing that I loved about this ROM is this right here, watch. Look at that badass animation. That's so dope, guys. So you have the ability to change what happens when you tick on it, if you want it to have the animation or not, or if you want it to be standard or anything like that, all right? Also, with this ROM, it brings back the nightlight feature. Now, as you can see, it's a standard 7.1.2 layout. All right, nothing too fancy. However, we do have this little section right here. This is pretty much where all the customizations for the ROM will be found. As I said before in previous videos, guys, I do love when ROMs have it in this little section. It makes everything quite easy to find and navigate, all right? Once you go in, you can customize various things like your lock screen, status bar, navigation, multitasking, and all of that. Now, expanded desktop settings. Now, it does have this option for pretty much all the apps right here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, miscellaneous also you can have it scan your media every time you start up your phone now screenshot type I saw this on lineage the first time and I fell in love immediately like all custom ROMs need to have this feature it is just awesome it should be in stock too so what it does is basically when you take a screenshot you can have it just take the full screen or a partial screenshot so when you take a screenshot you can just drag to select the area that you want to take a screenshot so once you enable this anytime you go to take a screenshot you can just select the area that you want to take the screenshot all right so for example you can do the regular volume down and power or in the power menu you can have it right there so I just press the power button to screenshot and then and that's all that was taken. So that's pretty dope. I love this feature. Also, you can change the screenshot delay. All right. Going back out into the power menu, as I just mentioned, this is where you can have all the things pop up in the little power menu right there. For me, I have to keep it basic. Just have the power off, reboot, and screenshot method. All right. Also, additional options. Show power menu on the lock screen. So... This is kind of cool as well. If you want, you can actually disable the power menu on the lock screen. So for example, if you don't want certain people to go in your phone or do certain things, or just toggle with your phone while it's locked, you can disable this feature right here. Power menu animation, this is the default, the bottom or the top. Let's go ahead and try the top and see what that looks like. And it's at the top, all right? Alright, so back out and look at the lock screen options. 
Now the lock screen settings, it's not too much. You have a lock screen torch and media cover art. Now lock screen torch is where you long press the power button once the screen is off to turn the flashlight on. I enable this because it's really handy to have sometimes a power outage or you're just outside in the dark looking for something and you're just like alright then. Now all you need to do is just hold on on the power button once the screen is off. Alright. And the flash is on. Press it once more. Off. Moving on next. Now these settings have a couple more stuff than before which I do love. As always, as I said before, the battery style, I like to have mine circle. The battery percentage, you can have it hidden inside the icon or next to the icon. I kind of like mine right there inside the icon. Also, you can have the battery bar icon change color when it's charging. So when I do plug my charger in, for example, right now, it shows red, all right? Now sometimes you plug your charger in and for some reason it's not charging, you didn't really look properly and you didn't see the charge icon. So having a separate color is actually a better way to go. It's actually more easier to see. So yeah, this option right here, this feature is pretty dope, all right? Now moving on, you have the status bar battery charging percent. You can disable this if you want or not. Battery tile style. Now this refers to the quick setting tiles and how the battery icon looks, all right? So if you want, you can have a circle to match the circle right there. Or if you want it to be a solid or just a regular icon, that's the same as well. So for example, if you wanted it solid, you can have it right there. It's at 81%. If you wanted that circle, it's there, 81. Now moving on, let's go to the navigation buttons. All right, so right here you can add a button for a do not disturb switch, all right? So if you activate that on right there and press the volume down button, you actually have the do not disturb switch right there, all right? Next is navigation bar. So here you can put it in smart bar or fling, whatever that is. <laughs> smart bar settings, okay. Toggle button editor button touch animation oh hello pixel all right now let's check this out because this looks really really dope first thing is the standard ripple right here that's what we're on let's check out the spring all right all right i see that bouncing animation there that's pretty oh oh look at that that's pretty cool let's go back try some more all right a flip let's check that out oh Ew, look at that. Ah, that's dope. That's hella dope, guys. That's really cool. All right, now, one of my favorite is a pixel animation. I love this, all right? Now, you can have it on the home button, which is the standard pixel one, all right? Or you can do it all buttons, all right? So let's check that out. Oh, all right. But look at that. Look at that. My pixel is better than your pixel. Ah, oh my gosh, guys. I'm geeking out AF right now. Geeking out. All right, this is pretty cool. You can actually save the settings that you've enabled right here in a profile. So let's just go ahead and name this the coin just for argument's sake. All right, so that's pretty cool. You can actually change your profile uh, depending on where you are or maybe you have a device where it's multiple people using the device. Alright, now another navigation mode here is fling. Let's see what the fling. Oh shit! <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> what the hell, guys? This is crazy, and I've just seen this. What the hell is this? Alright, guys, I'm actually gonna put this fling feature in a separate video because I went on and on for far too long about this feature. It's really awesome. So let's make sure to stay tuned on my channel to check out this fling feature on the Dirty Unicorns mom. All right. All right, let's come out. That is the navigation bar, multitasking, which is the last one. So heads up. Now this is just, if you get a notification, it just pops up on your screen, I guess. Peak notification show for five seconds. You can make it longer or shorter, depending. Omni switch. Alright, so the Omni switch right here is pretty much like a recent app multitasking little feature. So normally for me, I have Pi Control. This is an app that I use on pretty much everything. Now with the Omni switch, you just drag it out. I put it over here to show you. Alright, now all it is is just, these are all the apps that you have opened. Alright, so you can easily switch between them. Also, it shows you right here how many memory you have used and how much you have remained in. 
you can pin stuff i guess you can go into the settings and right here that's a clear all button as you just saw it cleared everything and the last thing right here is the recents all right so you can show the memory percentage in the recent app right there so up the top right there you see how many space you have in your memory so that's the free ram so you have about what's that 1114 not too bad all right all right so this is pretty cool if you click this right here it will bring up the omni switch style of the recent apps and not the regular style all right so it says right here if you're using omni switch as a recent alternative make sure you have omni switch enabled all right so i do have it enabled and i'm going to click on the recent apps button right here and it pops up right there so this is pretty cool you can have either or oh one more thing to note uh in the gesture setting right here you can double tap to sleep on the status bar so i do love this feature also you can double tap to sleep on the lock screen to turn it off as well this is called app ops so pretty much it just gives you a bunch of information on various apps that you have installed so right here it says okay the google app is running and what kind of stuff it's been doing so it read your contacts like two hours ago i am on 7.1.2 i'm on the latest patch which is april 5th yeah guys as you can tell i'm really really digging this wrong all right it is jam-packed with features so if you're looking for a around that has lots of customization then you're going to want to definitely check this wrong out now if you're recommending reading really good for me so far and i've had zero hiccups the performance is like butter the only thing I could suggest is that I wish I did have the swipe left for the Google Now feature, but that's pretty much it. As it relates to battery life and screen on time, I'll let you guys know more about that when I do my full review in the next two to three weeks. So yeah guys, if you did like this video and want to see more content like this, let me know by smashing that like button, alright? And make sure to subscribe to follow me on my journey as I find the perfect ROM. As always guys, my name is The Coin. You guys stay awesome and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See